Hey there, McOwner here, and I'm back with some more Monster Loves You. So, we're just gonna jump back in, and let's see. We were, uh, I think we were just like, we just got to a, like adulthood or something. Uh, or no, no, we just got to, we're, we're an elder now. So, um, I guess, I suppose we can look, go to politic? Let's see. Um... Let's go this way. Oh, he seems like a happy guy. Let's just go there. Let's see. Greed Blitz, puffed up with multisyllabic importance, addresses the other elders. My fellow monsterin, he begins. I propose we meet the humans halfway. Wait, what? In that meadow near the forest? Okay. No, he clears his throat. I think we should learn from them and adopt human ways to become more civilized. Um, agree, explain. Some human involvement requires cleverness. I think I have a, a good amount of cleverness. Yes, I've learned much watching their hunters. Uh, here, here, let's start an exploratory committee to look into the matter. Yes, we can use the tricks against them. Well, I think I have enough cleverness to do this. But let's see. Hopefully, dice roll. Please, heart of the dice. Yeah! The monsters view humans plus 18. You make a perface, uh, per, 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 You make a persuasive case. Under your tutelage, the other elders learn much about organization governing the human way. Okay then. Okay, cool. All right. Okay, um, let's see. Journey to Carmen. Okay. To your adventure. Oh, they look so friendly. Hugging and all that. You're splashing through rain gutters when you spy a human on the steps below. She snuffles and sobs into a tissue. A crumpled letter lies beside her. Help the human. That's the only option I have, so you slide down a gutter and squat beside the human. She squeaks and holds very still when you don't attack her. Okay, leave the human alone. Okay, okay. Finally, she says, You want to know what I'm cr why I'm crying? My parents say I must marry Ernst, but I do not love him. I just wish he'd go away. Help her, no matter how dangerous they may be, requires bravery. Offer to harmlessly scare him away. I don't have a lot of ferocity. I think I have more bravery. I'm not gonna eat her because that's just being a dick. So let's try this. Come on, heart of the dice. She blinks away your tears and starts to laugh. Then sees that you're serious. She takes your claw in her hand and then you go inside. Oh god. Where two older humans interrupt their dinner to scream and jump away from you. Great. Well begun is... Well begun is half done. Okay. Alright. The older humans calm themselves and listen to her for, you suppose, the first time. They re they agree to reconsider the wedding. Yay! The younger human smiles and squeezes you, not trying to choke you, just to show how much she appreciates your help. Yay! Well, okay, so now they kind of like... I think they both kind of like us. So, um... Let's go back to politics here. Uh... Here, this one, no, Glog Cabin, sure, Abraham Lincoln, why not, um, Blistery proposes a new plan to keep an eye on the humans, a lot of this has to deal with humans, apparently, we'll take over an abandoned house in Carmen, keep someone in there at all times, and take extensive notes on everything they do, uh, interesting idea, Several other elders seem to like the idea very much. They argue about where to establish their spy house, though. Carmen has many empty buildings. Which shall we use? Okay, let's see. Ruin everything that suggests the humans suggest somewhere humans will look bad. Okay. Suggest a place that will encourage understanding. Fools. Many buildings. Many eyes require many in many buildings. Let's use cleverness because I don't have as much ferocity. So we're going to continue with that. Expedition sets out immediately, hiding in the unused upper floor of the library. They observe the humans reading and learning. Make sure they see the. Make sure that they see that humans are smart. Okay. Oh, did I get it? Okay, cool. In short order, several elders learn to read for the first time. They see impressed with their unsuspecting human subjects. Cool. 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 This one. Ah, skull. Okay, let's see if we can get something else here. You see bolts of lightning hit a strange rod on a roof and investigate. From inside the house, you hear someone shout, Live! Live! Followed by maniacal laughter. What's going on? You listen at the window and hear a maniacal rant. This human is building a creature out of other humans. 
dead humans. That sounds familiar. Consider what you've heard of such things. Stop the human from making the creature. Help the human to creature, which should be fun. Okay, let's see. Consider. Someone did this while back in the mountains. They made a creature all right, but it was more like a monster. And it did some bad things. In the end, a lot of monsters got killed because of it. Because of it. Okay, well, let's not let that happen again. We don't want more monsters getting killed, so let's stop him. His plan's bad for humans who live here, and it'll make things hard on your fellow monsters, most likely. You set your mind to stopping him, but how? Cleverness and bravery. Ooh, bravery. Both of these, I think I have more cleverness, bravery, but... Walk in and stop him no matter the danger. Find a way to sabotage the apparatus. I need to check on my stats again. I keep on forgetting to check them. I should check them uh, once in a while so I am uh, more aware. But I think... Let's go with cleverness again. It's been working so far. Upon consideration, you decide to stop the flow of lightning at the source. You snap at the rod. At, you snap the rod in two. And the lights in the house go dark. From inside, the human lets out a wail. Time to go. Yes! More humans smash down the door below and discuss what to do with the shouty one. They have pitchforks and tor torches. One nods to you. You did us a boon. Yes, I am helping the humans out a lot. Okay, but anyways. Let's see. Oh, uh, no, I have more cleverness than bravery. But kindness is the same amount as cleverness. Okay, but I think I have more bravery than honesty. Yeah, fer ferocity is not something that I am... That's not my best one, so let's go po polit uh, politic. Yeah, let's go with yeah, the pot. Sure. Jaggery drinks from deep from a jar of cider. He belches and the air goes wavy. Watch the ferocious elder as he drinks some more. Jaggery raises one claw. Humans, humans are stupid, lazy, worthless, stupid, and I'll fight any monster who says otherwise. Disagree. Humans can be altruistic and generous. No, smart smart humans brought us cider. Requires cleverness. Mentioned that you've seen stupid humans drink themselves into sickness. Okay. Well, I've done a lot of cleverness. Let's try kindness. It's the same amount, so I'll have the same degree of success. So we'll see what happens. Dice roll. Drawing upon your own experience with grieving and helping other monsters, you select several excellent examples of human kindness. It's really just a question of knowing your subject. Yes! Jaggery himself is too tipsy to consider it, but everyone else is quite impressed. Alrighty then. So, turn to Carmen. Let's uh, what this one. What's this one? Hmm. You decide to check out Carmen Carnival, Whoopsie you recently mentioned. Following her map, you take lefts and rights and straight ons until you look up and... Uh-oh. Humans everywhere! What's that noise? And smell? And what's that over there? Or that? And it looks like an organ grinder, monkey poop, and mobs of human children. And a tiger. Oh my. Eat some monkey poop. I don't think so. Wait, a tiger! The tiger is running through the crowd right through the middle. Actually, it's because the crowd is scattering, scattering away from the tiger. Uh, aren't humans afraid of tigers? Come to think of it, humans are scared of tigers and usually keep them in cages, don't they? Ha, uh, what a laugh. Cut off some human skate routes. Okay, that's, that's being a dick. Fight the tiger before it gets away. Tigers aren't that smart. Lure it away. Um, let's see. You want to just keep on going with the cleverness or want to try bravery? This is a tiger. I don't want to die. So let's just let's just use the cleverness. We will try something else at a different point in time. Here we go. You climb up a bunch of floating balloons. You climb up to a bunch of floating balloons and pop them with your cl and with a flex of your claws, pop them. Pop. Colors scraps fly everywhere and the tiger looks around the sound of the noise, spies you, and charges. You lead it out of the town and away from the frightened but safe humans. Okay. I didn't get as much from that one, but still. Yeah. I mean, I could try bravery the next time it comes up. It's not like it's horrible. Okay, I think we go with the... What the? Oh. I didn't know I could click it myself. Alright, but anyways. Let's go with this one. Caution sign. That's gonna be fine, right? Elder Riddy wants to stop 
using electricity from the humans. It's making us less monstrous, he explains, and it is a human thing through and through. You happen to know a bit about electricity. Electricity. You shuffle forward and raise one claw clearing your throat. All the others look to you. Really says, ah, you agree with me? No, describe what electricity is great. No, show why, how violent electricity is. Really, okay, no, it's not useless. So I guess we're going to go with honesty this time. Let's hope that we have enough. Dice roll. Oh, you explain your point of view. Some of, your, some of the younger elders start talking about doing more with electricity than just keeping things cold or well lit. Explain what you know about electricity and the good and the bad. Dice roll. You describe some things you've seen. Boxes with moving pictures. Ways to send messages by clicking one's fingers on a board. The other elders believe you. Of course they do. You're not thought of as a liar after all. Yes! Just plus a plus. They're fascinated. The group agrees to look into new ways to use electricity to the benefit of monster civilization. Riddy hisses and Locke walks away. Stocks! Stocks walks blah 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 blah. blah. Stocks away. Anyways, uh, I think there should be four here, so that means we go oh, just, just here. And, oh, looks like this guy needs help. Let's see. He watches an elderly human tries to fix his house. He looks up at the leaky roof with a sigh and start, as it starts to rain and goes inside. Uh, how bad is the leak? Looks like a trickle of water will get into the attic from, his, from the storm. It might do some damage to the human's house. He also left his tools out. Steer clear, it's too dangerous. Brave the rain and danger to prepare the roof. Kindly protect his tools from the rain. This is only getting some of the rain fixes. Okay. Do I want to try to repair the roof? Or do we want to just use kindly to protect his tools? Let's try to repair it. Let's go. Let's be a little bit ballsy. And we'll use bravery. Come on. Yeah. Success. The human hears hammering above. He emerges just, he emerges just as you leap away. The repair is finished. Nice. Nice. Okay. I think we just did this one. So, yeah. I forget just which one we did. Let's do this one. The fighting or the... That. Anyways. Canleo Aslet. Electrical genius. Hold his abacus turning to... Turning the rocks for you. Uh, and the others, elders to see. Take a closer look. The calculations don't lie. All humans find out about monsters in two months. These figures are rock solid. Literally, we should prepare for new hiding places. Okay. Challenge Canyon's logic with headology. We don't know their actions. We don't know enough to predict their actions. Okay. Let's use cleverness. Because that seems kind of stupid. And let's see. You raise one claw and clear your throat. They've known... They've known about us forever, though. They tell stories of us to their children every generation. Dice roll! You go on, and yet they've never risen up to... S okay, <clears throat> you go on. And yet, they've never risen up to destroy us at all. I don't think it's going to happen this generation either. It's a load of swamp gas. That'll get them. Swamp gas, Calio swears. I didn't account for that. Abacus and Handy departs to recalculate his uh, calculations. All right. Wow. I have well, my reputation with monsters and humans is very, very high. Jesus. I think that's a good thing, though. I, I guess. Mm, yeah, that's five. So let's go here. And how about this one? An older human and many he children sit in rows in a hot, echoing room. The older human drones on while the children look at everything but him. The windows, the clock, even your hiding spot. Uh, what is the older human saying? He's telling them about life theology. You know about that, but judging by his expression, he doesn't seem to find it very interesting himself. Step in, step in and teach, and show him how to teach. Serves things up, disrupt their doings. Um, I mean, like I said, I'm going kind of nice in this route, so we'll just do that. You burst into the classroom, and everybody stops and stares at you. For one precious moment, nobody does anything. Tell them about the workings of living things. Talk about the attitude behind doctoring. Okay, let's use cleverness because this is a class and hopefully it'll work. You begin your lecture smoothly explaining how the heart pumps blood and just how many miles of veins and arteries they have in their bodies. The whole class listens. Fascinated. Go on. Dice roll. You're well into the lecture. 
you are well into the second hour. Okay. You are well into the second hour of your lecture when a bell rings. The teacher says, I'm sorry, that's all the time we have. Okay, wrap things up. May oh, wow, 100%, 100%. As the children leave, they chatter and laugh. You've made some new friends today. Sweet. Alrighty then, let's just, okay, I think it's, yeah, I'm at, uh, they both five here. Four days left, okay. How about this one? Your fellow elders debate. Are humans more dangerous now? Is it time to reveal ourselves? Um, we both have 100 100. I, I don't think it's going to be a too big of a problem, but the air grows still. Birds stop singing. The silence is reverential. Okay, you turn and see the oldest monster sitting on a hovel roof, dwarfing it. It's watching you. The oldest monster tilts its huge head and raises one of its three scaly eyebrows. Admit fear, but. Insist you must learn more. The best humans, like monsters, are fearless. Admit it. Okay, let's try the bravery. Have some more balls and do this. You speak without tremor or qu or quaver, as though the most deadliest monster in the world isn't waiting for you to finish. When you're done, the oldest monster is gone. You didn't even notice. All right. Everyone murmurs and nods your words. Impressed. Okay, I guess. Okay, that would have helped, but I think it's just because I'm maxed out, it doesn't matter. I keep on forgetting which one I just did, but anyways, uh, this one, sure. You come across the street from a coffee shop, sniff. The, the human coffee they're drinking smells weak, even by human standards. Um, how strong should it be? In Oman Town, this monster's boil a terrible black brew so potent it must be stirred with bone stones and bones every monster knows what real coffee is hmm interesting you come and come around. okay okay well, what do you want to do to help him out rush over there and help him fix the problem gently offer advice using a telephone to call over okay uh, humans have to serve coffee ruin it let's okay acquire kindness because i it's bigger i have more kindness and bravery and we'll do that you slink into one of the glass and metal boxes where phones are kept and tell the operator to connect you soon you're watching a human answer you on a telephone inside the shop keep going dice roll you say you're from the head office you phrase that you've heard that you've heard here in carmen so businessy you tell the coffee human that brew is good, but it needs to be thicker and stronger. She follows your directions, though she seems doubtful. The human samples cup, pauses, swirls the mixture in, around in her mouth, and raises her eyebrows. And success! Two more sips. She's smiling, and she rings off and looks out in the window and meets your gaze. She laughs as you scamper away. Okay, cool. Yeah, I guess it doesn't show any pluses if you're already maxed out, so... Uh, that is six... This should be six as well. Let's this one. You and some of the elders conver are conversing with Verrock. Uh, walks up proudly holding a toaster. Funny. You have a toaster just like that. Wait a minute. That dent. It's your toaster. Hey. Verrock crows. Look what I found at the bus stop. We can take whatever we want from the humans. Um, Show how a human sh could just take it back. Claim monsters and humans both value truth. Claim that stealing is what filthy humans do let's do the honesty dice roll products virok tries to flee but the monsters stop him you take back your toaster and step on his head for good measure he says you're lying but they trust you more than they trust him sweet this one how about the upside down dude what's what is this place you're in a dark dank woody room that smells like old jaggery uh mosey on in Humans sit at a long counter and drink what looks like a foamy cider. They seem sad and a little confused. Ah, a drinking place. I guess it's a bar or something? I, I suppose? Okay. After a bit, you see that there's a stool open. You climb up and plop down on it. One of the humans starts muttering about his problems. Can the humans see what you are? Get out of there before they realize you're a monster. Strike up a conversation with the human. Throwing contest. Break the liquor bottles with the... Uh, yeah, let's... Okay, can he see what they're... He doesn't appear to have noticed you yet, or maybe he doesn't care. It sure is dark, though. Okay. Um, let's try a conversation. Sure, why not? My wife just took my jellyfish and my dog and ran away. What? Okay. I don't think most people have jellyfish for pets. Uh, but 
okay? He goes on and on about what sounds like a pretty awful situation. Listen on, he seems so sad and already. Give him some gentle but tough love. So let's do it, kindness. So listen in, he seems sad. Dice roll. You keep listening, clamping down the urge to try and solve his problems before he's done complaining about them. You keep listening. He goes on and on talking about talking. Wait, he goes on and on calling you Mac. He, he talks about pig skins and some sort of bowl that he lost. Oh, he bet on the Super Bowl and lost like a bunch of money probably. Offered to help him find the bowl. Okay. He laughs. Though it looks like he won't find it, he seems happier after talking to you. The doctor is in. He finishes his last drink and gives you a little pointing salute. You monsters is good people. Yay. Yay, zero days left, so it doesn't matter because we're going to click. And as you walk through the Portnet Square, you think on your past. Life hasn't always been easy, but you've built up your reputation. You are quite well respected. Yes, well respected indeed. Though monsters have always feared and lowest humans in the past, your work towards improving relations has paid off. Monsters have come to respect and like them. Well done. Just grand. Meanwhile, humans who have once hated all monster kind have come to understand that monsters aren't terrible, evil things. Rumor has it that humans think pretty well of you. Well, I would hope it's 100 and 100. But anyways, shattering your reverie, I think that's how you say it, a terrible commotion erupts. Elders and younger monsters are alike are milling about in a great mob. Um, what is it? Um, bots drop down from a nearby hu roof. Humans, you aren't coming this way. The British are coming. The British, no, British, no human, no, yeah, whatever. Uh, Blistry says, that's wonderful. We can talk to them. It's true. Uh, relations have been warming up. Both monsters and humans meet deep in whale mist. There is considerable shuffling of feet and paws. Everyone wants to talk, but nobody wants to make the first move. If only some monster were to speak up, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be me. Yes, if only a few of the others are looking at you, strangely enough. Such one another. Oh, wow. Why? Why would you do that? Why? But anyways, welcome to humans as friends. Everyone breathes a sigh of relief as you put your best claw forward. It's the first step of a long journey. A journey on which monsters and humans will cooperate in all things. Uh, what happened next? Wow. Okay. Universal prosperity. You dared to find the narrow gap. Between fear and hate, now humans and monsters work together for the benefit of all. Is this the ending? Is this the ending? Okay. And so, monsters and humans worked, lived, and played together for many happy years and generations to come. Hooray for the future. The end. Oh, we got a nice ending. Here it is. The end. Your final personality. 91% bravery. 100% cleverness. 74% ferocity, 78% honesty, 100% kindness, and 71% respect. Yep. Holy crap. I guess that's it. And, I, oh, it shows a little sticker for what uh, ending we got. So, anyways, I guess we finished. At least we've got one playthrough done. We're done with Monster Loves You. I had fun with this. It was nice to see how stuff kind of played out. Uh, what decisions I made. I went a very, very nice route. Very kind. I guess used a lot of cleverness. We, I don't know if I'll come back and do another thing with this. But it was fun. But I'm going to call it here. So if you enjoyed the video, you can like, comment. It helps me out. If you want to help the channel grow, you can uh, share this video. If you want to keep up with everything, you can subscribe to, this, you can subscribe to my channel. Or you can follow me on Twitch and Twitter, or you can do all of them. It'd be good. But until next time, take care, guys.